What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you the most asked for uh, how I find my images. So basically a few of you, well actually no not a few, a lot of you have been asking how I find my images for poster designs. It's pretty simple, it's not going to be a long video, I don't want to drag it out to be honest. There's a few websites you can use but ideally it's just Google. So the main thing is going to be just changing your search elements so you find the right images. So hopefully you guys have been looking forward to this video. I mean a lot of you have asked for it so you know if you do enjoy it hit that like button and yeah let's get straight into it so guys first things first what you're going to need to do is open up google i'm sure you all have google in some form chrome uh firefox you know safari it doesn't really matter about the web browser so as long as you're on google you're at a good place so now don't worry about my search history just search a player that you want to uh, you know search up so i'm going to search up Hmm, who shall I search up? Messi, let's search up, oh, no, let's not even search up Messi, because, you know, he's pretty shit at the moment, isn't he? He's pretty bad. Um, who do you want to search up? Let's, uh, let's go for, hmm, Reese James. Let's go for Reese James, he's having a really good season. So, let's search him up. So, as you can see, we search his name up, we're going to come up with his profile, yeah? There's some images here, you know, a little bit about him, you know. What you need to do is go to images, and once you've got to images, obviously, you could, you know, you've got all these images, so you can pick them. But the thing you need to look for, right, is if you open one of these images up, uh, yeah, okay, so this is a good quality image. As you can see from here, it's, it's quite good quality. But if you can see in the bottom left here of the image where it says 2,448 uh, times 11, uh, 1,152, that is a fairly small image. So basically you want, ideally you want this to be over 3,000, 4,000 on each side because that means it's a big image. So it's, it's just aspect ratio. You know, most of your monitor screens will be 1920 by 1080. Um, hopefully you guys know what I'm on about with that. So it's just aspect ratios of how they've taken the photo. So there are ways that you can get around this. So if I click on another image, which might not be as good. Uh, so like, look at this one, 1930 by 620. So this is a really poor quality image. You wouldn't want to use this in your design because it won't look good. Um, the main thing you need to do, right, is obviously you can you might be able to find an image like this, uh, like a good quality image on this like just normal search page. Um, like this one, it looks okay, but it's only 1,200 by 1,200, not good. What I'm gonna do is go up to this cog in the top right, which is settings. Now this is gonna be your search settings and what you're searching for. So you wanna click this and then you're going to go down to where it says advanced search now advanced search is where you can put in what size images you want to find so you know let's do that so guys we got to the advanced search now this is going to look at what you're searching for your keywords what you want to pop up but you don't need to worry about any of these search boxes like don't worry about any of them apart from the one where it says any size here any size this is going to pick pick which images they show you so the one i always go down to is probably larger than 6 mp so this usually gives you about the 3,000, 4,000 pixel images, which are always the best ones. So let's do this, and then we're just gonna click advanced search. That's all you need to do on this menu. And then it should come up with some more high quality images. So there might not be as many, because obviously there isn't as many good quality images on Google, but for now, you'll be able to find a decent amount of images on here. And obviously you can change the search engine to search like different bits, like maybe different years for different kits and stuff like that, and it will find them. So. For example, let's just click on this image here. So you look, 4,800 by 2,600. Now that's a really good image. Now, it would be a little bit better if the 2,600 was like, you know, about 3,000, but that is a good image that you can work with. So let's have a look at another one. Um, let's have a look at this one with his long hair. Good quality image, you can see his face, you can see all the texture on the kit. 4,660 by 3,400. Now that's perfect, like that is really good. Um, that is, that's like an ideal image to use. And then once you take that into Photoshop, you can check out my other video on how I edit images. So this is literally what I do. I do this first, get all my images, and then I edit them with the uh, styles that, um, you know, in the video that I showed a, few, a couple of weeks ago. So I'll leave a link down to that. So after you've watched this, you've got your images, you can basically take them and put them in, you know, into the other design, uh, into the other styles, so you can make it even better. Going on, let's have a look. Let's, so, right, so you might get this happen. So if it's a small image like this, this means it's a really good image, but it might be a little bit harder to retrieve. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna click on this and it's gonna take you to another link. I don't know what link, it could be any website, so just click it. Now don't worry about viruses, it'll just be some sports page, there won't be any viruses. As you can see, 
taking me to the Metro page. This is the image we were looking at, wasn't it? So this is the 5,000 pixels. So what you're gonna need to do is once you uh, get all these rubbish adverts and rubbish, you're gonna go to the image, right click, and then you're gonna see this open image in new tab. So you wanna open the image in a new tab and it's gonna pop up uh, just the image, nothing else. So we'll do that. So there we go. There we go, there's the image. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look great, does it? It looks pretty bad. So there's one way around this, is what you have to do is go into the code in the uh, search bar. So what you're gonna see here is a load of text. Now, the th key thing you're looking for is resize, which is here, resize, and then there's quality as well. So these are things that they've included in the code to reduce the image size so that it loads quicker for people looking at that website. It's a it's a common thing with web design, but people do it just, just so it speeds up. You know, if you've got bad internet, you don't want to be waiting ages for it to load an image. So what you're going to need to do, right, is you see all these resize, you want to get rid of that, and you want to get rid of all this zoom, strip, quality, and all that, until you get just JPEG. So if we just highlight that and then click Backspace, and then just click OK. As you can see now, there is your full quality image. Perfect, that's a perfect example. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in, this is a really high quality image. Now, my screen is quite big. Um, I've got like a 30, 80 by something. I don't know, it's an iMac screen, so it's big. Um, but if this was on a 1920 or 1080 or even on a phone, you, you know, it, it's going to look really good because the pixels will be compacted. So you know exactly what I mean by that. Um, so basically, that is how you get a really high quality image. This is literally what I do for all my designs. Um, this is a really good image actually um, to find. And then once you've got this, what you need to do is go to right click and then save image to download. Obviously, you can save it wherever you want, save image as if you want, and then it will go somewhere, you know, I don't know, where, wherever you want to put it. And then you can drop it into Photoshop. So I'll show you for example. So if I go save image to downloads, make sure you do it after you've obviously, you know, changed the code in here so you get the proper size one. Um, save image to download. And then we can go to Photoshop, open up our downloads, and then just drop this in. And then this should load up eventually. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So that is perfect guys. Now what I would do is I would run through all my, you know, editing techniques, you know, high pass, camera filter, neural filters, sharpening, and make this image look really crisp, and then I would drop it into my design. So once you've done all this, obviously it's a bit more, you know, a bit more work, but your designs will look so much better from it. Um, I, do, I never used to do this, I used to just get the basic images, you know, uh, just like you guys are doing probably just to make it quicker but if you do this trust me it'll make it look 10 times better so that's one way of getting an image i'm going to show you another place you can get images right now so this is something that i sort of learned about when i was starting poster design so obviously it was quite handy for me because i didn't want to cut out all my images every time so it was a bit time consuming wasn't really a, that fun uh, at the time because i just wanted to make quick designs so what i went on was this website called Footy Renders. This is the website. It's called uh, HTTPS, you know, dash dash www.footyrenders.com. You got the website, copy that, and then it'll bring you to this page. Now this is a really good website. Um, I, I don't want to knock them or anything. They have a load of different renders and I do still use them occasionally when I'm struggling to find images for some players. Because you will, on the method I just showed you of Google Images, you will struggle to find some images. So usually pair it up with this because this has loads of other renders as well from all over the country or all over the world even. Um, as you can see, look, 29,000 high quality football soccer renders. There's a lot on here and it saves, they're all cut out for you, so you don't need to do any cutting out. Um, and with my methods, you will need to cut them out afterwards. So obviously guys, this is less time consuming. So let's search up the same person. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of renders of him, celebrating, standing, you know, but this is where you need to be careful. So if you've got all these high quality images from, you know, the Google image method, where I said to, you know, look for them on there. You want to make sure that the images on here are also high quality, otherwise it will just look weird. So let us just click on this one. So this was uploaded three months ago. Um, it's a fairly good image. It looks good image from there. It's got five star rating. But what you need to look at is here, the resolution. So the resolution here is 1080, uh, 1025 by 1944. So it's not great. You know, it's not great. So let's, let's just download this for an example. Let's go back to our Photoshop file. We can open it up in here and put it in here. So for example, that's been cut out. Yes, it's not a bad quality. 
It's not great, but it's all right. So if I added my techniques to this, it might look okay, but it won't look as good as something like this after you've applied all the textures. What I usually do for this, I usually get the running images like this one. So this one is celebrating here. Now this one's quite a high quality image, 2000, free, uh, 2000 by 3000. So if I download this, um, I can drop this one into the Photoshop file. Oh, no, I didn't want to open it up, but yeah, that's it. It looks quite good. So we can cut this one out, um, drop it in. Once we've dropped it in, if I was on a poster design, I would have the running image usually quite small. So it would be at the front of the design, so it would be a lot smaller, like maybe here on him. So like that. So it holds its quality better because it's small and the pixels are more compact. So hopefully you understand what I mean. So if you want to just quickly get one of him standing, celebrating or whatever, and then have a really high quality one for the background image, then you can do that. So sort of use both of them to your advantage. Now, I know obviously some of you are going to find it a little bit hard to cut images out like this. So, you know, if you want to just use footy renders, then do that. But if you want to try and, you know, push yourselves and go for a more high quality, you know, cut out like something like these, but obviously find them yourself, uh, then go for it. So that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much how I find all my images, how I put them in my poster. And then obviously I edit them further. Um, and I'll leave a link to that video how I edit my images, you know, in the description below. So obviously check that out. Definitely. It's really helpful. Um, <clears throat> it's got quite a few likes. So obviously you guys have uh, enjoyed it and it's helped you out. So that's perfect. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, footy renders and then Google images. Remember to change your advanced search in here. So advanced search and then size larger than 6 MP and then go. So that's perfect. You get all these images. And that's about it guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Obviously let me know in the comments what you want to see more of. I'm starting a new, you know, uh, a new um, series. So it's called Redesign Workshop. So basically I've got an email which will be linked down below. If you send a WeTransfer link to that email with your design link to it, I'll have a look at your design, see what I can do with it. Basically I'm going to pick probably one or two for a video pick the design uh, depending on how many designs I obviously get sent obviously if I get sent no designs well it won't happen but um, I hope I'm hoping some of you want to send you uh, send your designs to me so send them across and basically what I'll do is I'll drop them into Photoshop the Photoshop file and I'll go through and maybe change a little bit you know maybe do some color changes and uh, move some things around and just do it a little bit differently just to give you a different outcome and to show you how I would do it. So I'll be going through that sort of in a live version. So I won't be, um, you know, changing everything, then pre-recording it. I would just be doing it on the spot. So you'll be able to see what's going through my mind and stuff. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to it. So hopefully get your design sent in, emails down below. Obviously we transfer the file so that I can get the link to it. And yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the support on the videos. And I'll see you in the next video next week. So have a good week, guys. See you next time.